Today we're paying $50 to go get a golf lesson from a coach that I found on Facebook Marketplace. This is Michael. He says he played Division One golf, has some competitive rounds in the 60s, and will get your game solid. Michael's made some claims in his post. He said he can fix your swing, he can fix your hook, and he can fix your slice. He also said that he can increase your driving distance by 20%. We're gonna put those claims to the test and see if he can indeed fix those four things. It's Saturday morning here. We're heading to Fort Worth, Texas. We're gonna go meet up with Michael. Let's get right to it. Based on marketplace meeting up with strangers, I feel like you always think of worst case scenario of somebody like trying to mug you or like steal something from you. But we're going to a public place, a golf course on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. It's gonna be like super packed. So there's nothing that's gonna happen, but yeah, it goes through your mind for sure. I just got a little update from Michael. He said driver, sand wedge nine and five iron is all that you need. It sounds like he's got it down to a science. He knows what he's doing. As far as I'm concerned, those are the only clubs you need in your bag. He's subscribing to that same idea. Speaking of subscribing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to uh, 100,000 subscribers. We are pulling up to the course right now. So. I don't know why, but I'm like a little bit nervous. I think it's honestly gonna go pretty well. Pretty nice looking driving range. He just texted me, said he's here. So we're gonna go find out. Michael, what's going on? What's going on, man? I'm Mike. Josh, do you right, mind? We're, uh, we're filming. Do you yeah, mind if we're filming? Fine, yeah. Cool, right on, right on. Yeah. Do you mind if I throw a microphone on you? Uh, no, that's fine. Yeah, is that cool? I have a Boston accent, so hopefully it'll still come. Dude, that's, that's, what, yeah, that's okay. good. So you're from Texas, or? So no, I'm actually uh, from Pennsylvania. How about you, where are you from? You from uh, I'm here? from New York, and then okay. uh, moved to Boston. And you said you played? Yeah, I played uh, D1, yeah. Still play, play? Uh, UMass Lowell, so yeah. it's in, uh, Obviously, Massachusetts. Yep. They're like known for the hockey, but still play quite a bit. I've never done like legit lessons. Okay. So I feel like just kind of just dip my toe in the water, just trying it out, seeing, see, I don't know, see, it. Yeah, see if I can make some some changes and stuff and um, okay, help cool. my game out. Let's, go. Let's just warm up. Let's just hit like 5'10", just to Sick. get the body moving a little bit. Cool. Hey, how many of these lessons do you think you do? Uh, I do quite a bit. Do you? Yeah, I do probably okay. like five or six a week. Uh, no you know, it kind of slowed down, slowed down in the winter, yeah. but uh, it's kind of just a hobby I like to do, That's basically. Um, and Facebook Marketplace works? Yeah, uh, word of mouth, Facebook. Uh, you know, just playing with people all over and yeah. kind of just pick it up as I go, basically. All so, different um, skill levels and everything. And mostly, I'd say like teenagers, and then a lot of like house moms are lot, weren't like wanted to play it for the first time okay. and pick it up for the basics, basically. Tough to see. It sounded good, but I couldn't even see it with the I know, yeah, the sound's kind of right in the right the in the It sounded picture. pretty nice. Oh, you got blades too? I got I, kind of a mixed set. No, these are the really nice set of irons that you have right yeah. there. You like the Tacomos? Yeah. No, Ever heard of these? Yeah. Tacomos? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Right on. I guess go to the basics, the grip. Uh, okay. What are you doing? So grip, we got uh, like this guy right here. Pink interlocked, perfect. Yep. Yeah, thumb, perfect. Yeah. Kind of over, overlay there. Yeah. And then no, that's perfect. You'd be surprised how many people do like a baseball, baseball grip. grip. Yeah, sure. or, um, but yeah, let's see what you got. Okay. Nice. So, uh, so playing four years, it's even surprising just by the divots. Uh, like I've played with people that have been playing for 10 years plus. So they'll hit the ball here, here, here. Sure. You can tell just the way that you're setting it up, it is the correct way to do it, make it nice and tight. Yeah. Um, everything that I've seen so far has been really flush. What do you typically shoot? Um, I'm probably like a like high 70s, okay. low 80s kind of guy. And where do you feel like you give away most of your shots at? Off the tee, for Off sure. Off the tee, really. So Off driver, the tee, your tempo is really good. Okay. Like that ball right there, if you're going at the blue flag, that's, you know, 15 feet from the pin. Right. You know, a lot of these have actually been really good. I would say one thing, uh, there's not really a lot to pick about it. I would say for a nine, your stance is a little bit narrow. Okay. But like if you can flush it like that and it works for you, I would say keep going with it. Okay. You know, maybe try to open it up a little bit. But if you open up your stance, the miss hits are not going to be as bad. Okay. Pretty quickly realized that Michael is the man, just a super solid dude looking to help people out. But I'm not going to let his niceness distract me from testing out his claims. His first claim is that he could fix your swing. I feel like that's something that comes maybe more as a result of being able to fix a hook or a slice. So we're going to save that till the end. His second claim is that he can fix your hook. To be honest with you guys, I don't really hook the ball. That's not uh, an issue that I have with my game. And since he won't really have to fix anything, we're going to go ahead and give him a confirmation on that claim. His second claim is that he can fix your slice, which is definitely something that I struggle with. So let's see if he can fix it. So I've noticed one thing. Yeah. There's not much about your swing that's really off. One thing that I've noticed that's a little bit different is actually... 
it's interesting. Right before you hit it, your left hand, you actually close it a little bit to the right. Okay. Have you noticed that at all? Before you even take the club back, you're doing like a uh, very minute, okay. it's like very minor, but it's something that, I'm, it's just interesting to okay. me, you know? I yeah, no, no idea I that. that like, so he's saying right before I swing, I kind of like yes. open my club a little bit and yeah. yeah. No, but your, your balance, your tempo, shifting your weight, you know, from your back foot to your front foot, it's spot on. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah it's yeah. a very minor. Um, but when you get to drivers and bigger clubs that are faster swing speed, yeah, you know that could be maybe where some driver issues okay. might be happening. Yeah. Michael pointed out something interesting there that I had never picked up on before. Right before I swing, I open my club face. Typically, when I hit a slice, my club face is open at impact. The root of the problem could be me opening my club face before I even swing. I thought that was some great insight on Michael's part. The slice is definitely on the way to being fixed. We're gonna go ahead and say that claim is confirm this video is sponsored by vice golf it's christmas time vice golf balls make a fantastic christmas gift if you're looking to get something a little bit more personal for somebody that you love they have a personalization tool on their website you can throw whatever picture you want on there whatever logo um, they've also got a mix and match option where you can get different types of golf balls depending on how many you order head on over to vicegolf.com check those out i'm sure you got plenty of people in your life that you know lose a lot of golf balls could use some more uh, so it's perfect Christmas gift, Vice Golf. Let's get back to the video. Okay, it's time. Michael's final claim here was that he could increase my driving distance by 20%. That's a bold claim. Let's see if he can back that up. Right, let's, see, let's see the driver. The drive piece? Yeah. All right. He's, you know, not kryptonite, but the one that they worry about. I saw on your, your Facebook listing, you said you could increase driver yeah, distance. Yeah, let's go. I'll, I'll, just, I'll hit some driver. All right. What's the strategy behind that? What do you typically tell um, people to try and... And maybe it maybe doesn't apply to me, but yeah, like, let's I'm see what you got. Let me see what you got. It, it depends on each person, you okay. know. Nice. Can I say something? Yeah, bring it. With how you're hitting the ball, hard to believe that you're even high 70s. Really? With the flushness that you hit the ball, the distance, you know. I'm not trying to insult you. No, dude, bring it. Whatever you got. Like, yeah. I'm not trying to say something's wrong. Yeah. But you, I would say you have a lot of potential to shoot really low. Like you said, my post you mentioned, you know, adding 20, 25%. Okay. You know, uh, realistically, you know how far you hit the ball. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm, I'm not going to be able to take it from no, no, 3, yeah, 40, 40, yeah. 3, 50 to, yeah, right, right. <laughs> you know, like obviously if you want to, there's ways like the long drive contest. I don't know if you've ever sure, seen them. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, right. Those aren't the swings that you really want right. for how you hit the ball. Right. You know. Um, so I guess that that was more for like beginner golfers. I would say too. for people that don't hit the ball. Aren't like you. squaring up the club. For people okay. that don't right hit the ball, three fifty. Right on. Okay, so I'm not getting twenty. Twenty. 20 <laughs> uh, I'm wishing. Anything. You know, I could try to Which help. Which I figured, but you know, hey, yeah, you, that never, you never know. Keep going. Yeah. As I suspected, increasing my driver distance by 20% just wasn't in the cards today. That's not to say, you know, Michael couldn't do it to maybe a newer golfer, somebody just picking up the game, but for myself, not a reality. So we're going to go ahead and say that that claim is denied. At the end of the day, I think my swing overall improved, so we're going to go ahead and confirm that one.